Good morning, folks. We've got news from beneath our feet all the way out to the scale of the cosmos. Let's get started with our star over at spaceweathernews.com and find the last day was exceedingly quiet. No sunspots, solar flares, and the solar wind at Earth has even calmed back down. There are a number of plasma filaments becoming more active than they've been the last week or so. 90 degrees flip to watch the departing western limb on our star here. The patchy corona hole scenarios will soon give way to a solid trans-equatorial one. In 211 angstroms, you should see how much more solid that trailing opening is. Watch the phi angle for another lithospheric magnitude uptick. Speaking of the lithosphere, a remote southern island volcano in Japan went off. Automatic webcam was the only witness way out in the range. Looking ahead to Nepal, that study was to gauge the risk of another 7.8 earthquake. Well, unfortunately, months later, they've termed up evidence that an 8.1 is potential, even likely, more than twice as strong as a 7.8, and while they don't know when it will happen, their study now knows exactly how the crust will destroy that part of the world someday. Top weather images are coming out of Cairo. Dust storm took over much of the Egyptian region there and has spread into Israel too. Let's go to the science stories, where that galactic collision we've heard about from eons and eons ago has finally been nailed down with the use of the robust Gaia dataset. We've long believed that such a collision occurred, but now they can differentiate collided stars with those that belong in the Milky Way. Up next, we're going up to the cosmic level, the cosmic web, galaxy superclusters, and the greatest physics embarrassment of our time, the effort to confirm the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model. Top scientists throwing everything they've got at it and even inventing new things to throw. In all cases, though, no resolution or even improvement was made on the major cosmological conflicts between models and observations. In what is the greatest release from UCAR NCAR since they delivered the Global Electric Circuit model, they just did it for a solar flare. Their model accounts for visible to X-ray spectrum changes during the flare, and the motion seems to match exactly what we watch in SDO close-up views of those flares. And speaking of the global electric circuit, it is the foundational piece of why the sun's influence on weather and climate is so great, not to mention our health and earthquakes and technology. But the first global network for monitoring the global electric circuit and its effects on the climate is happening now. This does have the possibility, if properly used, to completely debunk the most popular and extreme version of the climate change story. Folks, we've got a new deeper look coming out later today for website members. I'm deep into making episode 10 of the Earth Catastrophe Cycle, but still another day away. We've got your wind maps, followed by shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.35 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.